one day shivaji saw his guru doing the madhukari shivaji was on the on his fort in satara and he saw his guru ramdas was going door to door begging so shivaji felt that why my guru has to beg like that i am his disciple i am the king why does he have to do like that shivaji was a very humble person actually very loyal disciple in that way that's why he was so great so shivaji thought that my guru is asking and i am the king so he what does he need so he write on a piece of paper that i am offering myself to you all that i have now belongs to you you don't have to go begging door to door you have everything that i possess next morning ramdas came and said so shivaji you have given everything to me so you have nothing now so you come you also beg with me actually rabindranath tagore uh, wrote a beautiful poetry on that uh, it goes like boshiya prabhat kale shetarar durgo bhale shivaji herila ek din ramdas gurutar bhikkha magi daredar phiri chen jano anno hin he said that you have taken given everything away to me so now you come so then everyone is seeing that the king is begging from door to door and their feeling was eje dekhi jole bhashe shila the sight is so surprising as if a stone is floating in the water the king is begging like that then uh, after begging the whole day he took him he went to the bank of the river ramdas took bath and shivaji also took bath and they were sitting and ramdas singing a song amare rajar saje boshiya shongsh boshay shongshar maje dressing me as a king in this world what kind of game you are playing my lord so uh, the point is whether we are a king or a beggar the lord is making us play different roles and that is the way the lord is playing and we should simply become an instruments in his hands and so ramdas actually gave shivaji the kingdom he said take this kingdom back it's not your kingdom it's the lord's kingdom and with that understanding you could rule the kingdom and that's why we see what a glorious king shivaji was and no one could defeat him because krishna was with him and he was ruling the kingdom as a representative of krishna so we can see that behind all these great personalities there is a personality who guided them and made them into devotees of the supreme personality of god